as you can see I got a gift today from a buddy of mine, Brendan. Thank you so much for sending this guitar and this amp over here. I got the guitar the camera all set up so I don't want to go over it too, but it's literally a boss, pretty boss amp. <laughs> but uh anyway, today we're gonna do um the other one, I'm going to go over some of the things he does in there. It's kind of hard to grasp everything from all the versions in the 30 years that they did it, but we're going to hop right into it and I'm going to show some of the stuff that he plays around with. So, <clears throat> to start out, it's an E. He does a lot of E, E minor. A lot of droning this too. So the, the, the rhythm of it is kind of and the bop bop is what you're strumming on. that bop down. Okay, so E with the, just the triad, really, a lot of it is just to keep that droning sound at the 7th and ninth. The little move is a, you go to D right there. This D, and then you put on the G, because he's going from minor but he's not doing F sharp chord, he's doing a D chord. But the F sharp is the major note on the top, on the leading tone, so from E to F sharp, and then he goes. To signify the minor. And then after that, you're gonna go to the, the G note. To the, to the A note. So set up the top of G kind of too for the minor feel for that the top of E minor right here. So kind of keep that droning too, the top E. Same G that you're doing for the E minor, top of G. And then you're doing, <clears throat> canceling this note out on your index finger and moving to the 12th with your pinky. And then go down to the 11th with your ring. And then down to the 9th from the 11th. Keep this G the entire time and drone the E. So it's kind of like a, you're signifying E minor. is like what I just taught you kind of. He fills it in with all those minor steps, but he, did, he fills it in with kind of triad chords on the bass to make it sound very droney. The rainbow spiral round and round and tremble and explode. So that other one, you could do that instead of the... Just put in the... It's just E, E, D, C, A, G, E, D, C, A, G, E, 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 D, C, A, G. And then, okay, so when he goes back into the verse, he does this little triad, sus, 
So it's four and seven, which makes eleven chord. B to C sharp, and then the F sharp's eleven. F sharp eleven to E eleven. chord in Jack Straw, the, those chords, if you're familiar with Jack Straw, I have a lesson on that too, he does these chords in there, so, very familiar with all the other songs <coughs> he throws it in with. So you can kind of mess around with the, what I've taught you so far, kind of just tinker around with that and get the feel for the song. Over the years, the 70s versions and the 80s versions are very different, but uh, there's tons of little things he throws in there. just E minor and uh, never really do major though. But you can do the flat five, sus four, and the minor a lot. going through the key of E minor, just in different variations. Nope. So that's just the, the D variation. Move it, up, move it up to E and start the, the walk up. And then sometimes we'll go to come out of this little breath and all that. Do it with E7 down here. It's like a B, B minor, but move your index finger down a string and let your pinky go off. So where your pinky was in the B minor, put your, your ring finger there, and then that makes an E7. It's like this chord I was just doing in the D variation. Just move your pinky down. It makes it 7. And you just you use the use the G to D right there, so G D. This is the main one he uses, the <laughs> he throws in the other ones when he wants to, but whatever Jerry's really doing is is what he's trying to go off of, but so that's kind of just the basis of what it is, where to go. But give an ear to the Bob section on that, and you'll hear tons of little little flares on it. I can't really explain them all, but you'll get the gist when you listen to it. Thanks, guys.